Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I, this is the second installment on this video, so if you didn't watch the first one, you might want to watch the first one first. What we've done, we've taken these name tags, and we've reduced this line right here so the laser doesn't have to cut them twice. And it's going to do two things. It's going to save you runtime in your laser, but it's also going to save you wood because we got these three name tags on a piece of four inch wood where if you had to separate them, you couldn't have them touching. Well, you could, but it's going to burn this line more. And being that it's on the top of the name tag, it's, it might look unsightly. It might have a little more char on it. So you would need to separate these a little bit. So we figured out how to do three. Now let's figure out how to do six. So what we're going to do, the name tags are 4.5 inches long. So I've changed my nudge factor to 4.25. So it's 4.5. So I need 4.5 nudge distance. All right, so let's encompass them all. Control D and let's move them over twice. Then let's zoom in here a little bit. And we're going to take our indexing lines and see where it says uh, net edge and then it says node. Edge node. So you're going to want to put it on the node each time. And this, you know, you're going to say, well, maybe this takes up too much time. But once you have this drawn, you could use it for other name tags. So now we've deleted that. Let's encompass them all and move them back. So now we have six name tags already done. And then they're, it's really done. So control D, move them over twice. Now we've got 12 name tags and they're done. I mean, this one's complete, but it has that missing part. This one is complete, but it has this missing part and that missing part. And this is endless. You could keep going all the way across. If you have 24 inch wood, you know, we're only at 18 inches of wood used a little bit more. We could get two or three more on there. So it's going to save you time. It's going to save you uh, run time is the main thing, but two, it's going to save you a little bit of wood. Now, like in the previous video, I showed how you could change these. And, you know, real, you know, quick, if you were making, you know, so many for this company and, you know, the other one was uh, Fred. I can't, I can't uh, type and look at the screen. Fred Blue. And hit enter it puts it right there in the center now let's uh let's erase all these so to erase the the text you would just encompass just the text with your shape tool and let's uh, let's make a completely different one let's go uh, uh let's go back to the a1 moving and Type in somebody's name. Go to center justification. Grab that X and it's going to put it right in the center. Now, instead of duplicating that and moving it down and putting it in the center, all you have to do is now change your nudge factor to 1.25. Grab that, make a duplicate. And you've got it in the center of both of them. Then you can do the same thing, change it to 4.5, grab these three, make a duplicate, control D, control D. Now you've got name, name tags done. Now you do have, you know, there's a way to do this and change the names with uh, inside of Corel Draw, but when you're only doing this few, to me it's just a lot easier to uh, change the name. Just go up there to edit text and put in... Uh, the new name, hit enter, it puts it in the center, everything's done. I think this will be very helpful. And like I said before, you could do this. Now save these file as, you know, 
two five by four inch, four and a half name tags, and you're done. You can use, reuse them over and over, and it doesn't matter, you know, what size they are. Um, you know, realistically, if you wanted to to save or to shape them or to save them as a bigger one, you know, let's okay. Let's say you're going to make a bigger one. Let's just get rid of these and this one. Now let's just encompass them all and just stretch them out to whatever size you wanted them to be. And they're still got the missing parts. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.